It's almost impossible to think of a plan in this weather. <laughs> well, Joe, it's great for the tan I'm trying to work on. Nothing like cold lemonade to avoid dehydration, Mr. Peabody. This heat wave is seriously slowing down our prison's productivism. How, Peabody? Oh, fabulous falcon, to what do I owe the honor of your visit? It's my nephew's baptism, and I'd like to swap a few Indian artifacts for rituals. Hmm, let's see then. Buffalo skins, they're all the fashion this season. In this heat? Are you out of your mind? Take a look at my inmates. <sighs> Have just what you need. <laughs> Extraordinary drink with big buffalo essence. Guaranteed to fight heat and increase energy. Demonstration. <laughs> I'll give you all the victuals you want in exchange for the whole stock. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? With that drink, we can dig a tunnel beneath the prison walls before they'd even begin to notice that we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did the trick go with Peabody? He's buying the whole stock. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That drink has done enough damage to our youth. Perfect, yes, yes. That's admirable. Yeah. Say, Joe, how come I don't breathe pink smoke? Who gives a hoot about pink smoke, you big ninny? We're waiting for the right moment to get out of here. Hey, that smells like cow. What's a cow doing in a place like this? And where is it? Buffaloes are going crazy from this heat wave. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Time to get a move on. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Why are you going so fast? It's a jailbreak, you ninny. Okay, Joe, but that's no reason to be in such a hurry. <laughs> This is normal, Joe. I feel really droopy. We must be in need of that drink. Look where we are. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> it really smells like cow here. It must be hiding in here. Am I the one who smells like hell? Oh, to think that all this time I thought I was a dog. Hey, hey isn't that, that the dog? Stop, Stop right, right there! there. I must join my herd. You two are idiots. However, did the Daltons get the key off you? It all happened so fast. And we didn't get any of that Indian drink. Oh, Buffalo Essence. Let's pay Fabulous Falcon a visit. <sighs> okay, let's take a break. We're far enough away from the prison now. <laughs> hey, Joe! Look! We're not alone! Buffaloes! Lots of them! <laughs> Yeah! Hey, what's wrong with him? I think he's in love with you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Your energy drink is a real swindleism. The Daltons used it to escape. Oh, did they? The Daltons won't get far. Don't worry. I will show you. Moo! 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 
a greeting, O Herd. Here I am. I have come back to you. Yeah. How about that? The Daltons are cows, too. That stupid pink smoke is attracting them. Admiral, do something! Here, drink this. Then maybe you can escape again. <laughs> Imitating buffalo, we're turning into buffaloes. It's all because of that drink. <laughs> we drank too much. <laughs> but what, Moo? I can't understand you if you don't articulate. <laughs> It's back to the buffalo pen, Dalton. <laughs> that really hurts. Birds are a true miracle of nature, and perhaps you know this? Remarkable athletes. For example, carrier pigeons can carry up to 50 times their own weight. Hmm. Hear that, oh. Joe? Up to 50 times ah! around weight, isn't that amazing? How dare you wake me up like that? What did you say? 50 times? Hmm, that's interesting. By the way, Miss Betty, can we build a dove coat for those cute little carrier pigeons to visit us here? Pigeons? Out of the question. They'll disturb our peace and quiet. Oh. Mr. Peabody, keeping birds would help our inmates accept their lives behind bars. Oh, but I... Oh, thank you, uh, Mr. Peabody! Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful dove coat. All that in one day. Well done, Daltons. Look, Joel, I've already collected <laughs> breadcrumbs to make it thief. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. Da! Told you, Joel. You ninny! Who cares about making them peep? This thing is going to make them fly us to freedom. And the pigeons are doing all the hard work. I know, I'm a genius. Tomorrow oh. we shall learn how to communicate with birds using bird collars. See, you blow inside them very softly, like this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll get a seed. No! It's okay, I've got it. Hmm? Oh, little guy, did your mom abandon you? Nothing to be frightened of with me. Quee quee, quee quee, my name's Winton Dumb. Quee 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 quee. Time to wake up, birdies! <laughs> Blow the whistle more softly, Joe, just like Miss Betty said. <laughs> Hang on, Tad, we're about to take off. We did it! We are free! Let's head for the nearest town! <laughs> Mr. Peabody, come and see. The Dalton flew right out of here. Yep, guess where are the pigeons now? I knew it! This idea was ridiculous. Oh, how awfully silly I am. The Dalton stole my bird collar. Mr. Peabody, to make up for it, here's an emergency bird collar. Let's go. We'll bring them back. Birds of a feather stick together. Peabody's word. My mission, take the egg home to Mama. Wings and dummies, always ready. <laughs> Passengers will soon be flying over Guacamole City, famous for its colorful market and... It's been filled with tons of gold! 
cheers for the Dalton brothers. They just invented the aerial holdup. <laughs> so, who's the ninny who shortened the ropes? Well, I did, Joe. I thought we might get down faster that way. Logical, right? Well, you didn't see a curious object fly over the bank. Like a carriage, but without horses. Just a bunch of wings. They're too far ahead of us. You'll <laughs> never catch them. Queen, queen? Yeah. What about Miss Betty's emergency bird caller? You're right. There's no point in complaining. Let's see what this little bit of wood can do for us. <laughs> Wing Brigade! Oh, Miss Betty was right. These high-speed wingers have the altitude to find the Daltons. <laughs> oh, you hate standing your show. Don't be afraid. One day you'll know how to fly. Watch how they do it. Joe, we're too heavy. The pigeons can't keep the altitude. Don't care. We're going to Mexico. Say, Joe, don't mean to interrupt, but what's that on the horizon? Wow! Giant eagles! I order you to land right now, Dolphins! Never! Faster, Admiral! We have to get away! Hi there, Mr. Peabody! <laughs> Just let them try. We've winked out on them. They're catching up! Make us go faster! But we can't go any faster, Joe! Then we'll have to drop some ballast! <laughs> you must never give up! You make it this way! Oh, no! <laughs> And the pigeon's wings are full of flag. <laughs> Farewell and thank you, wings of our beautiful nation. Well then, Daltons, tried to fly the coop, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I love making jokes to some <laughs> One of these days, I'll tar and feather him. Mail's here. Hey, here, here. Where's my mail? Come on, give it to me. <laughs> I say, are you transporting a monkey? Yup, he's heading for a zoo. <laughs> Poor creature, designed to spend its life behind bars. Will they be locked up for long? Not long enough for them to repair the cell they burnt down. <laughs> well, with this safety lock, we've got nothing to worry about. Zoo's ready! Stay right here, we'll bring you supper. I like it here, in the open air. Don't worry, guys, I've got a plan. <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Say, you look kind of hairy looking for a hairdresser. This cowboy has chosen me as his steed. Hooray! Ma, I can't do this. It's too complicated. Ooh, a monkey! So what? Huh? Hey! Hey, the Ooh. monkey did it! He sure is smart! <laughs> he was just lucky. I did all the preparation. Come on, follow me. Oh. Looks like he's got a plan. I'm the one who has the plans here. Yeah, but we'd like to try the monkey's plan for a change. <laughs> wow, he's super strong as well as being super smart. Phooey, that? Ha, that is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, what did I tell you? Your little buddy here is a ninny. We can't get out that way. He found a way through for us. What a load of hooey. That is where we have to go through. The wall is lower. There are barrels piled up. <laughs> to get the lock open. The guards must have unhinged it. Hmm. Hooray, our savior's back! <laughs> yeah, sure. Seeing the new lock, it's impossible to... <laughs> Daltons have dignity. They escape by stealing keys, not by scrambling up walls like a monkey. Why don't we split into two groups? Okay. Wait till they see me with the key. I am certain that this was locked tight. The Deltons managed to unpick it. There's no other explanation. Rest assured, the new lock is absolutely foolproof, and the penitentiary key is in this safe. Tranquilitism. <laughs> Fine, the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> But where are the Daltons? They're all there! <laughs> that is enough, Daltons. From now on, you're being watched over day and night. Mr. Peabody, the lock, the flag? Those Dalton brothers are exceptionally clever. They must have been hiding their talents for years. I think we should have them do some intelligence tests. Ah, oh, you think so? <laughs> hey, I didn't ask you for anything, did I? I'm the human, so I make the decisions. Go get the rifle. <laughs> you don't understand a thing, do you? <laughs> Who's a ninny? Who's a ninny? Who's a ninny? Who's a ninny? <laughs> Hey, that was my idea! Yeah! Nobody move! Huh? That is not intelligenceism. That is magic! Huh? <laughs> but, but how did you manage to get the monkey out? <laughs> and how did you manage to train him so quickly? You can't understand. We're simply too smart for you, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> that monkey's really amazing. Yeah, it's funny. He can't stand seeing people locked up. Huh? Where is he? <laughs> Who said you can't teach an old monkey new tricks? Is it time to ride off into the sunset, cowboy? That is so cool! How he combines brains with brutes. Cut brain. it out, you imbecile! That hairy ninny did everything to ruin our plan! Isn't this cool heading off into the sunset? But actually, sunset, that means dinner time. Where's my package? Come on! Well, hey, gonna open it, Joe? <laughs> hmm, not here. Too many curious eyes. No, a present! That's for my birthday? You shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, brothers. Take a good look at our new means to escape this place. Gigi the giraffe! 
but how are we supposed to escape with this giraffe, Joe? By simply climbing up her neck, dummy. Once it's dark, we take the giraffe into the yard, climb on her back, up her long neck, and ta-da, we're free! <laughs> yeah, but look at her. That giraffe is tiny. You should have ordered it way bigger. This giraffe belongs to a very rare species that grows 60 centimeters a day, which means that in, uh, uh, in a very short time, we'll be free! Ah! Does she think that I'm her mom? What is going on in there? Ah, classic. They'll open the door and shut surprise! What's all the racket about? Racket? What racket? <laughs> what are you hiding under the bed? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They're real playful at this age. Ugh. I feel like I have just slept on a pile of rocks. Well, you did, Joe. Your giraffe ate our beds during the night. But anyway, you're right. She sure did oh. grow. Ah. Hey, 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 Gigi, easy does it. <laughs> At this rate, we'll be out of here in three days. Good girl, sweet little Gigi. <laughs> he never pets me like that. They're kind of taking their time. See, I put water in a dish for you. And tonight, we're going to go and get you lots of delicious things to eat so you grow up strong. <laughs> you never give me cuddles like that. I'm following them. I'm too curious. <laughs> Gigi, my Gigi. <laughs> yes, that's right, Daddy's home. What? It's just so she'll grow fast is all. Let's go. We head for the kitchen and grab what we can. Be careful. <laughs> my Gigi's gonna love this. What are you up to now, Joe? Did you turn vegetarian? Uh, <laughs> we adopted a snail. A great big one like this! Ow! Stealing food, stupid excuses, and lying to a guard. That's ten days in the clink, Joe. My Gigi's going to wonder where I am. <laughs> oh, 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 I get it. They're preparing a buffet. Now, Gigi, your Jojo's not here. See? He abandoned you without a second thought. <laughs> they even planned a circus act. Whatever you say, those boys are talented. If the guards find them, they'll make burgers out well, of them. Well, why not? I saw a giraffe in the corridor. Yeah, sure. Ah! You have been the better judge, sure. How did it get you there? My giraffe, they are going to hide her. No move, Joe. We'll get you out of there. Well, where is he? Uh, right here, you ninny. We've got to find Gigi before the guards get her. Let's split up. Gigi, Gigi, this. Gigi, Gigi, that. Oh, we lost it. Gigi, where are you? It's your little Jojo here. Gigi, here you are at last. <laughs> My Gigi. Found her. We must find that giraffe. <laughs> Get on. We're leaving. Nice of you to share. <laughs> now over to the wall, my Gigi. Giddy up. Oh, happy birthday to you. <laughs> What's wrong with her? What if she's stupid? Don't talk about Gigi like that. <laughs> Joe, you were right. Thanks, Gigi. Come on, let's go. 
Oh, no. Drew? I can't leave her behind. Gigi! My Gigi! Oh. Back already, Joe? My Gigi! <laughs> oh, my Gigi! He never throws his arms around me like that. He does, to beat you up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, now, calm, calm, Joe. No miseryism. You can always visit her in the Washington. I can. Yes, when you get out uh. in three hundred forty-five years. <laughs> but I'm still here, Joe. 